this is no normal video. Basically, I've been entrusted by Yanto to take his very special Cornago out for a spin. It's no normal Cornago. This is the limited edition of the Cole version. So I'm gonna show you what it looks like. Sun's come out for us. It's glorious. I can't believe it's October. Summer part two. Yeah, I'm, I'm totally happy with this. This is good. <laughs> right, well, I've got Lucy here. I'm gonna call you an expert. <laughs> Do you sell many of these Cornagos? Uh, a couple, yeah. Have you ever sold a C64? Because um, it's quite a yeah. new bike, isn't it? Yeah, it's been out a couple of months, uh, took over from the C60. Um, but yeah, we've had a couple go through the shop. They're really, really, really nice bikes. So um, as, as the resident, got a ladybug on me. As the resident Cornago expert, I'm going to get you to run us through some of the some of the specs on this. Paying for all of my debts with these verses I'm late. Merciful how I don't just send the world into mayhem cuz I The bike is built up with the new Dura Ace Di2, which is what number is that? 9870 or something? No, 91 50. <laughs> <laughs> you put me on the spot. 9150. 9150. Yeah, I was oh. thinking of the disparate one. I was close. Yeah. Um yeah. 9850. 91 no, no, 9150 Di2 um, It's got Vision Metron 55 SL wheels Which are clincher I believe And Hutchinson tyres And then the rest of the bike is equipped with FSA SLK Componentry That's a bit of a mouthful And an integrated seat post And it's equipped with What saddle is this? It's a, custom, it's a custom saddle Yeah, Pro Logo custom saddle The Scratch 2 so this is actually quite strange for a bike nowadays because it's got um, lugs um, and also round tubing so not many bikes that are around now do actually have lugs still on them which is yeah really quite interesting and it's got the the c64 is different than the c60 because it's got this slightly different seat stay design which is slightly more aero um, than the previous one and it's also the other difference is this one you can put 28 mil tires on and it's got dual mount brakes. Yeah. Mr. Ernest Cornago's signature on the top tube. That, that's worth paying for. So this frame comes in 14 different sizes and weighs 800 grams. 800 grams? I know. It's pretty light. Also features the uh, FSA Powerbox power meter. Um, yeah. Which is the new FSA power meter, is that right? Correct. It's a damn old shame how they sleep on me, dumb. Matter of fact, how all these rap backs, they needed to see fun. To see that I was serious, not someone just having fun. Fuck your studio now, bruh. I don't need that or none. I'ma take care of my own till the day that kingdom come. And if you it's got this beautiful, I don't know if you can, can see it in this light, it's got this beautiful metal flake paint, which kind of sparkles yeah. in the sunlight. The real question, Lucy, is would you what colour bar tape would you have on this one? Because this one has rather questionable light blue. I kind of feel like it should have black. Yeah, it's a tough one. Uh, I think it's always good to match a bar tape with the saddle. Um, it'd be cool to have some kind of sparkly dark blue stuff, but that's going to be hard to get in a bar tape. But I think black. <laughs> There's so many ladybugs here. I've just had three fly on me. Look, it's an old one though. It's got like 16 spots. Is that... Does that mean they're older? Yeah. Okay. The, 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 the more spots they have on them, the older they are. I don't know that. Are you sure? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, where are we going? Uh, I have no idea. I'm pretty happy in the sun. <laughs> Ballet laps? Yes. I'm gonna take care of my own till the day that kingdom come. And if you beef him with that statement, then homie can get some. Been too many years in the making. Pretty long drum. Pull a blunt and some stress. And think about how in the long run I'm actually blessed. Come up on the scene and turn that bitch to a mess. Not dirty, I just fuck shit up and go home and rest. Stay in the east, not the west, but love all over the map. I wanna overlap the poses that's been butchering tracks. Make a milli be in a brookie, stay counting my stacks. Bouncing all of these ounces will make me fade into black. I'm fucking over the trap. It's time to blow up off rap. Shake the industry at its core. Just it's badass. What did you make of it? It's badass. 
No, it is badass. C sixty four. C sixty four. The coal edition. Yeah. Danto's let me borrow it. Has he? Does he know you have a nasty habit of crashing bikes? And so, did he? Did he supply you with a derailleur yeah, hanger? I was, I was about to say that. <laughs> Sorry. Just cut to that. You should ask. That one's good. Yeah. yeah. It's got sparkles in it. Yeah. It's a bit special. Yeah. What? You know our beloved headphones. Yes. This is quite sad. I broke them. <laughs> did they go in your wheel? No, I dropped them and then found them a lot later. Destroyed. Uh, oh no. I threw mine away because they broke. Really? I went, well, yeah, one of them died, so I threw them away. And I bought another pair that were a little bit more expensive, but they're like double the size. All right. Nice to see you, bro. You too, bro. <laughs> so the good news about that Colmargo is that you can actually own one. The pre-orders are open until Wednesday, so you'll have to act quick. So it's now the day after, as you can probably tell. Richmond Park yesterday didn't feel wintry enough for this shoot. With the new Lacole Autumn Winter Range launching today, I thought what better to travel up to Bedford and give you a first look at the range. I'm also racing up here this weekend, so it made sense. I've got a few of my favourites here to show you, but there's many more on the website. But here we go, let me show you what I've got. So firstly, a new design for this year is the new Pinnacle Stripes, which are actually existent on the AquaZero range and also the Pro range. So you can get either colour in both jackets. Um, this is a pretty bold design to make sure that you are seen out on the roads, especially now this time of year when the, the light starts to fade and uh, bright colours are important. The, the new design is certainly eye-catching. So as I say, that this, this particular item is the Aqua Zero jersey, which is slightly fleece-lined and waterproof material, um, but not too thick, so it's nice and breathable as well. The other jacket that that design is on is, as I say, the Pro jacket. Um, they come in either orange and blue or black and white. And they're both really bold designs. quite my style because I ain't no beginner. Boy, been a winner since birth. End of the world with a thirst. And I've been called a sinner damn right. Like a sailor at curse. Never sold me a purse, but probably did me a shirt. Another item that I have from the range is the new HC jacket. Now the new HC jacket has some new panels, some new reflective tabs, and new colours as well of course, so um, I went for the navy which looks really really smart. Another new item from the, from the autumn winter range this year is the Aqua Zero Gilet. Now this is the first time that Lacoeur have done this product. It's generally for when the weather gets really cold, whereas this Aqua Zero jersey is still nice and warm, still waterproof, but it sits kind of in between and it's a really nice addition to the range where you do want to put on that jersey but you don't want it super thick version and finally the last piece I have from the from the latest range is this thermo jersey in the new color of navy I don't know what it is about navy but I just feel just feel it's really really smart um, so yeah this is my favorite item from the range it's got a really nice tape zip I believe so no water's coming in there and it's got uh, the flap on the back which obviously protects your your rear from the spray off the road Another item that is a favourite of mine from the range that I wasn't able to grab was the sport jersey. Um, it's a really well priced garment and it's really nice and breathable and also the new colours for this year look really really smart. The orange is a uh, particular favourite. Anyway yeah so that's a very quick overview of the new range. I'm sure as I get more products I can uh, talk about more maybe a little bit more in detail if that's what you're after and if you have any questions on any of the specific products very happy to answer any of your questions. Finally, I want to end this little video with a competition. No, I haven't really done competitions before and I don't really know why. I definitely want to be doing more competitions um, in the winter months for sure. Um, but I'm going to be giving away my favourite item from the autumn winter range and it is this, this Thermogile in navy. So all you have to do to win is like this video and leave a comment in the description and I'll pick someone at random. Anyway guys, thanks for watching as usual. I'll see you on the next one. Ciao. Also, what do we think of my new outfits? Matchy matchy? I want some dumb shit, man. Coming up.